Hi friends, welcome to the channel and shackling sudokus and puzzles. Ashish here and today I'll be covering a puzzle genre called Star Battle Puzzle. So this puzzle was constructed by Ryotaro Chiba and I really thank the author for giving me an opportunity to cover a video on our channel. So this uh, puzzle was, this particular act puzzle was actually featured for the IPC contest, Indian Puzzle Championship 2022. So this year, just a week ago, last week we had the contest and uh, it was an excellent contest. All the Indians uh, participated in the contest to get selected for the World Puzzle Championship that is happening in Krakow this year in October uh, 16 to 22nd, right? So, so this puzzle was one of the puzzles featured in the uh, uh, Indian Puzzle Championship and it was an excellent puzzle, uh, high pointer actually and many solvers actually were stunned seeing this puzzle, right? So the uh, solve path of this puzzle is really good. I was one of the uh, contestants for uh, participants for the Indian Puzzle Championship and I uh, to solve this puzzle during the championship. So there are many solvers who actually got uh, stuck on this puzzle and really wanted to know what is the uh, progress or how to progress this puzzle. So I thought of covering a video on this one and I would highly recommend you please uh, if you can if possible do try to get the booklets of uh, Indian Puzzle Championship and Indian Sudoku Championship that was held last week and it was excellent contest I would say uh, you can get the uh, P uh, PBs I mean to say puzzle booklets plus some bonus Sudokus and puzzles plus some uh, gifts as well so the puzzle and Sudoku gifts that uh, organizers had uh, created and there are many other things uh, you would get uh, including the puzzle booklets of the IPC and ISC. So I will add the link in the description below to get the booklets how what is the procedure to get it uh, it's, uh, it will be there in the description below so if you are really looking forward to buy the puzzle booklets for both uh, puzzles and sudokus I would highly recommend you, uh, recommend you to, to please uh, do so because the puzzles were of excellent quality I would say top notch quality I really enjoyed all the sudokus and the puzzles so it will really be an excellent uh, practice material for you all right so I'll add the link in the description below and before going to the puzzle I would highly recommend you to please subscribe to the channel and shackling sudokus and puzzles if you haven't done so it will really motivate us to cover videos on daily basis and if at all you have a request for any sudoku variant or a puzzle genre do let us know in the comment below and we'll surely make a video on it and now coming back to this puzzle so star battle rules apply i'll say what are the rules here so each row each row each column and outlined region will have indicated number of stars so the, that is indicated in the rules two stars so each row each column and each region will have two stars in such a way that no no stars can touch each other even diagonally so for example if you have a star here you cannot have star anywhere in these eight cells right so a star cannot two stars cannot touch each other adjacent or even diagonally that is what the rules is very simple rules but excellent puzzle type right and with that we should start solving this puzzle so there are a few tricks that i would uh, want to share you while solving a star battle puzzle star battle is really an excellent puzzle type seems to be very easy puzzle genre but sometimes can be really tough to find the progress right so first of all the first thing is you have to see that if there is just one row or a column that is uh, the whole whole region is in a row or a column which means other cells in that row and column uh, which are part of the other region will not have any stars because you need to have both the stars in this region and which means a row or a column can have only two stars so you'll have both the stars in this region and which means none of the other cells can have stars the first thing is that one uh, the second thing i would like to mention here is sometimes you have to look at a whole bunch of rows or columns to eliminate possibilities of stars right so what do i mean by that so if you see last four columns here in this case right so the moment i saw this puzzle there are two things that i uh, did was excluding this this was not the main factor that i solved the puzzle using uh, there are two main factors that helped me solve this puzzle not uh, smoothly but even after that i had some more uh, hiccups and some more uh, things to be done but the two main things were the first thing was last four columns if you see last four columns i'll just mark here there are there are exactly four regions in these last four columns one two three and four so we know that a column will have two stars two columns will have four stars same way four columns will have eight stars right 
and there are four regions in these four columns one two three four so each region will have two stars which means these four regions will have exactly eight stars and no other region in that in those four columns can have any more stars right so which means you will have exactly eight stars in these four regions and that will be fulfilled by the eight, four columns that we have selected which means no other cell will have any other star right so that is the most important thing that was uh, uh, to be seen here right i'll just again uh, remove these uh, marks here so which means all the green cells that we have marked are cells which cannot have any stars this was one of the very good factor that helped me solve this puzzle and this is really an excellent example of how to look at a star battle puzzle right uh, you don't actually have to look for uh, i mean to say four columns four rows you just have to make sure that you get exactly some bunch of columns or rows in between as well so it can be in between also you know between three rows or three columns and you will have in such a way that you will have only those many number of stars to be filled and other cells you can eliminate that is a really good example of solving a puzzle right okay so the next thing is this cannot be a star because for this region for this region if you have a star here you won't have any other second star in that region so this cell won't be a star here that's a basic technique now the most important logic in this puzzle was the starting logic that many of uh, sol many of the solvers missed was if you see the exact frame of the puzzle the frame in the sense just one cell with perimeter of the puzzle right you will have exactly four uh, regions in the frame of the puzzle the outside edge i would say there is no extra cell going inside the grid just one cell with of a frame that is forming exactly four uh, regions which means these four regions needs to have eight stars and that is only possible when you don't have any star at the corners now you think why is that so right why why have i written that why have marked why have i marked that so what happens if you have a star here the moment you have a star in the corner one star gets decreased and you can have a maximum of only seven stars in this in the frame in the four rows and columns i mean to say two rows and two columns at the edge so if you have a star here let us assume you have a star here or maybe a star here and a star here a star here and a star here here and here if you count the number of stars you will have exactly seven stars you can place exactly seven stars if at all you have a star even at this corner the maximum number of stars you can place is only six stars in the last two columns in the first in the last column and the first in the last row so what happens here is you need to place exactly eight stars in the frame outside frame and that can only be possible when while not having a star at the corners right excellent piece of example here that was the main logic in this puzzle and that helps you solve a puzzle a bit more let me say you how so you'll have for this region now so this region is the most important region that you have to look out for this region will have one star here which means you'll have one star here and that means for this region you'll have one star here and one star for this column here so which means for this region you'll have a star here and the for the column you'll have here and for this region i mean to say row and for this region if you have one star here you'll have to have one star here so every side of a region it is divided i mean to say every region is divided into two sides and each side will have one star which means you cannot have a star here because one of the stars will have to be here you cannot have a star here because one of the stars will have to be here that's it that is what we have done till now right so which means you have exactly yeah you have exactly 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and 8 right eight stars in each uh, side here that i have marked here i am just showing you the marks that i have done here right so each side will have one star each color blue and uh, yellow color will have one star right and with that we'll continue uh, solving this puzzle now now the uh, next piece of logic let us see what was the next piece of logic i don't remember it now but i must be able to do it right okay so next ne next piece of logic here is if you see row 8 and 9 you'll have one star in one of these two cells so i'll mark that here 
one star in these one star in these and one star in these so you'll have exactly four stars placed because a two by two matrix can have only single star which means you cannot have a star here right there is no possibility of having a star here and of course you cannot have star here as well because we have already said that you'll have one star in this side and that has to be in one of these two cells you, you cannot have a star here easy right next okay so whenever you have a case that five straight cells in a row or a column straight line has to have two stars in it then there are a few cells that you can eliminate uh, you know beside it you cannot have stars in these four cells because you need to have two stars in these cells so if you have a star in any of these four cells you will not be able to place two stars in that row in that five cells so i have eliminated that as well next again so you'll have you cannot have a star here because uh, you'll eliminate four cells and then you won't have two stars in these two cells because stars cannot touch each other at uh, you adjacently i mean to say orthogonally and okay okay uh, i remember one logic in this puzzle was okay let me see that if I'm, okay uh yeah so what we said was just a second okay you can you have a star here let me just uh, show you what happens if you have a star here you eliminate all of these cells of course right you'll have two stars here but this region won't have two stars exactly right so that means you cannot have a star here but i don't want to mark that right now because it's quite uh, you know two one step or two steps ahead but it's uh, it's still uh, possible for top solvers because they have to think this way one another piece of logic that i saw in this puzzle was excellent piece of logic if you see here you know that one star would have to be in one of these four cells one star only one star it has to be in one of these four cells which means you cannot have both uh, the two stars in this region in these four cells which means this region needs to have two stars and both of these stars cannot be in these four cells because that will eliminate all the possibilities of star from this region right so you'll have one of these stars in one of these two cells at least one star you can still have both the stars here just uh, make my point you can bo have both the stars here but at least one star would have to be in one of these two cells which means none of these two cells can have a star right excellent right which means now you have exactly four cells that you can have a star one two three four so you can eliminate a few more cells where you cannot have star near to it you cannot have star in these two cells you cannot have star in these two cells easy right you got something at least and we have already now if you see here this cell cannot be a star using the logic that we have uh, saw, uh, we saw it earlier because or maybe yeah i forgot one point guys now this will help you this will help you because you know you don't need this logic now you don't need this complicated logic a simple way to see the logic was as i said when you have five cells in a straight line with two stars in it then you can eliminate a few cells near to it which means these are the five cells sorry that you can have two stars in it which means these cells cannot have stars right so the moment i mark this now this puzzle becomes really really awesome you have one star in these two cells so you cannot have stars near to it you can have one star in these two cells you cannot have stars near to it which means you can have both the stars in this cell so this is not a star so one star is in this cell one star is in this cell okay and which means this column now has only two ways two stars possible and both of these would have to be star this would have to be a star this would have to be a star one of these two cells would have to be a star so these are not the stars right this is a star this is a star this is a star right so one star would have to be in one of these two cells one star would have to be in one of these two cells but it is still possible that you can have both the stars here not sure of it right so let us not mark that for now because marking such cases would really be you know bad at the end 
you cannot have a star here because five cells will have two stars so this cell cannot be a star this cell cannot be a star okay anything else we might miss okay i got uh, one more good piece of logic here that actually completes the puzzle that is a really an excellent piece of logic that completes the puzzle here and which is seeing rows 8 and 9 at a time and rows 6 and 7 at a time let me show you what happens here i am seeing rows 8 and 9 you can have one star here second is already here third would be here fourth would be here you have four stars in two columns two rows i mean to say now see rows 6 and 7 we'll have one star here one star is here third star would be here in one of these two cells fourth star would be here right now if you see what happens here is one of the blue region would have to be a star one of these two red cells right one of these two red cells would have to be a star so this region is already done with having two stars none of these cells can have a star now if you see here this is a star this is not a star this is a star right mm, this row has only two stars remaining both of these would have to be a star this region has to have one star which is this cell this region has to have one star this is one star right and this is not a star okay anything else yeah if you see here this column hand needs to have two stars and there is only one way possible this is a star this is a star right which means this is done having a star here okay and yeah this is a star this is a star this is a star and this is a star here what an excellent piece of logic this was too many logic supplied in this puzzle all were awesome purely logical this is how actually you try to solve a star battle puzzle the first thing is basic technique right eliminating a row or a column with having two stars i mean to say if a region has a two star in the same row or column then you can eliminate other cells in that region secondly is you'll have to look out for bunch of rows and columns and add the uh, total number of stars in that row and column and see if you can eliminate a few more cells in those bunch of rows and columns thirdly would be uh, uh, seeing how a uh, group of cells two into two group of cells will have only one star that will actually help you solve puzzle in more uh, easy way right and this is an excellent piece of puzzle i really enjoyed solving this during the uh, indian puzzle championship and i hope actually you also enjoyed uh, seeing how i actually solved the puzzle during my uh, competition so it was an excellent piece of logic thanks to the author again for such a wonderful puzzle it was a puzzle that many solvers got stuck they were really surprised to see such a uh, star battle puzzle in the contest and it was really awesome so i hope you enjoyed the uh, video here do like and comment if you want us to solve any other sudoku variant or a puzzle genre and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you